Sena. Yeah. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino, and we're watching Pet Cemetery today. This is based on a Stephen King novel. This is Pet Cemetery, 1989. The picture already looks scarier than the 2019 version, you guys. All right, let's get scared. Here we go. Okay, so full disclosure, I think I accidentally saw a little bit on TV once when I was really young and I was like, this shit is scary. And then I ran away. And you're back for more. I'm back for like the full story. This is where my kitty lays. No more he screams and hollers. He lived for five and 20 days. It cost me $50. Sounds like you killed your cat. I think this kid has killed too many animals. How do you know he killed them? The cat lasted for 25 days. Yeah, but it happened. I wonder why it's a circle. Yeah, this looks... Oh my God. <laughs> like... Come at me, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm not scared. Not yet. It always starts this way. I know. A family, a happy family moves into a new house, and then they Have wish you that they would have moved. Have you Oh, this kid's cute. Finally here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a young dad. I know. I was thinking the same. I was like, is that her dad or her older brother? Yeah. No, at least because like in '80s movies, they they always seem older. Yeah. Oh. Is that Miss Helen Hunt? What do you think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> Aww. Uh, it's gorgeous. It is. Look at that. It is. It's so sweet. Oh, oh they're they got such a cute one. little family. Uh oh, what's she gonna see? No. Oh, you know she's. Oh God. Oh, this okay, shot. Are you a walkway, a pathway? Mommy, Daddy, I see a cat. Ellie, be careful. Ooh. Ellie. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. Oh, ow. Ah. Listen to your mom. Good thing your dad's a doctor. Mommy, daddy! Oh. Oh, that's a cute cat. You gonna let it out? Oh, no. Cat! Oh, no. She's just getting her name. Oh, God. Oh, no. Is he gonna let the cat out and then going to get ran over? No. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh no, get the, get the, get the baby, get the baby! Why would you think you're, oh my god. Oh my no god. No way. Help my friend. I corralled him for your mission. Thank you, thank you. Bad parenting. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I'm Lewis Creed. Judd Crandall. I live just across the road. You won't watch out for that road. Wow, he's sold. Them damn trucks go back and forth all day and most of the night. Like... Oh, you're fine now. Who might you be a little mess? I'm Alan Creed. Your dad's going to be the new doctor up the college I hear. There's a path <laughs> over there. Do you know where it goes? Don't go down that path. Uh-oh. That's a good story. A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. Tell you the story, too. I want to hear the story, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're that curious, huh? That was good, that was good. That was good. <laughs> it's just a cat. It's not even the real jump scare yet. <laughs> no, that, that, that was good, guys. You were all like, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Yeah, it's me. Well, come on up and have a beer. That was good. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That was good. All right. All right. Let me just get my breath back. Steve I think Flash. you amped me up there as well. Good for you. You amped oh. me up. You're like throwing up. That was like a solid scare. You know that path your wife commented on? Uh-huh. That road and those Rinko trucks, the two main reasons is that. What? Well, where does it lead? To Pet Cemetery. Mm. Pet Cemetery. There's that damn road. Uses up a lot of animals. Dogs and cats, mostly. My little girl's got a cat. Yeah, what's Winston out? Churchill. Oh. Call him Church for short. That's cute. I get him fixed while you fix cat don't tend to wander. He's all the time crossing back and forth on that road. His luck will run out. Well, I'll take it under advisement. You should. Meantime, Doc, here's your bones. Hi, Missy. 
I'll do these out. Bring them back next time, Mrs. Creed. Great. Can you come on Monday, Missy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Always thought it would be lucky to marry a doctor. Wish I had a doctor around with my stomach pain so bad. <laughs> Guess I'll never be lucky. Hell, I ain't married to anyone. They have such interesting accents. Bye, Missy. She's weird. <laughs> that was a weird... Yeah. Oh, church. Dude. Um, Mommy, Daddy, come on, let's go! Put the cat away. Yeah, why can't you just be a house cat? Let's get on with it. That old school kid backpack. Yeah. <laughs> kid carry. What does it say, mommy? It says pet cemetery. It's misspelled, but that's what it says. Yeah. What's gonna say? I told you it's a bad road. Let's kill a lot of pets. Made a lot of kids unhappy. At least something could come of it. This place. Couldn't plant nothing but corpses here anyway, I guess. How can you call it a good thing? Oh. A graveyard for pets killed in the road. Built by broken-hearted children. Well, they have to learn about death somehow, now don't they, Miss Creed? I mean. Daddy, look, this one's a goldfishy. That's right, Ellie. They wasn't all killed by the road. <laughs> yeah. And especially the ones from back in my time as a child. They get older as you go towards the middle. Harder to read. Uh, Missy Ellen, come over here just a minute. That's where I buried my dog Spot when he died of old age, 1924. Old age? Whoa. Okay. Do you know what a graveyard really is? I guess not. It's a place where the dead speak. <laughs> I don't want Church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. <laughs> oh, God, where did you hear that? Missy Dan, Church, she says it's an operation. Well, the road is a lot more dangerous than any operation. Church will be just the same. We won't have to worry about him getting run over in the road by trucks. Search will be all right, honey. You promise, Daddy? Oh, no. Don't <sighs> shilly-shally, Lewis. Give the little girl a promise. No. No. Uh, Church will be fine. You oh, can't. no. What if something I happens promise. to him in the surgery? Yeah. Like, anything can happen. You don't make promises like that. Don't do it. Bye-bye. 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 Mm -hmm. What is it happening? <gasps> what? What's happening? I was not expecting that. He got hit by a truck. Yeah. These trucks, man. You would think they would do something bad. Oh, oh God. God. Dude, they, make, they did such a good job on this one. Yeah. All right, get an ambulance here and get it right now. You've got to go to EMC. Oh, I know it won't, but for God's sake, way. let's do it by the well, rules, okay? Now move. Oh my god, he's he's gone, huh? Mm hmm I told Rachel not so much as a sprain today, my friend. Mm. Yep, he's, yeah, that's like the curse, apparently. <laughs> apparently, like in a hospital, you're never supposed to say oh! ah! What the hell? The soil of a man's heart. What? Is Lewis. How did you know my name? I'll come to you. How did you know my name? I don't know if he said the soil of a man's heart or the no. toil of a man's heart. I Something heard or other. Lewis. Soil. The soil, yeah. And then he said, I'll come to you? Yeah. Places to go. Oh, this is weird. What do you do? I say we go investigate. I come on. Ah, doc. Yay, yay! Get out! Why are you here? I want to help you. Oh, okay. Because, Lewis. What? Because you tried to help me. Okay. I love that he's just very calm. He's like, all right. I want to try to help you. Talk to me. Yeah. Help me what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, John. He's like, you got me. I don't like this dream. Who said you were dreaming? Who said you're dreaming? He's okay. <sighs> I don't like this. Why are you trusting this? This is the place where the dead speak. I want to wake up. I want to wake up. That's all. Don't want... go on, Doc. What? Do not go on to the place where the dead walk. For the dead walk. Oh. Oh, so don't go over there. Yeah. I just want to wake up, that's all. 
Did you hear what he said? The barrier was not meant to be crossed. It's not my fault that you died. The ground beyond is sour. Is what? I don't know. Sour? So, yeah, maybe sour. Dude, you're outside. Go home. Hmm. Are you just sleep there? Scared? Or is he at home? Look at your feet. If you have dirty feet, you definitely yeah. like. Look at your feet. Get in there. Ah, yeah. See, he told you. Dude, it's weird his wife calls him Doc. Time to move. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, we're going away for Thanksgiving? Lewis, it's not right. I don't like to think of you rattling around the house on Thanksgiving Day. Oh. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be a family holiday, Lewis. That's why you're going with the kids and without me. I'll be around plenty when you get back. I mean, that's fair. Lewis, afraid you may have a spot of trouble here. Judd, what trouble? Well, there's a dead cat over here on the edge of my lawn. Oh, Jesus. I think it might be your daughter's. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why isn't the like the council made some speed limits or some speed bumps along this road? Yeah, that does not look the same. At least it don't look like he suffered. Well, Ellie will suffer. She'll suffer plenty. Yeah, give me that. How, How long? Like they ran it over that hard that it like. I'll bury him in the morning. You gonna tell Ellie? I don't want to spoil her holiday. There's a better way. Oh God. God, he knows. Wait, what do you mean there's a better way? Do we plant him on the outside of the circle, or do we start a new one? The place we're going is on the other side of that. No. No, we can't climb over that. We'll break our necks. No, we won't. There's something bad about this guy. Don't look down. And don't stop. Remember no. what the ghost told you. I think this you. guy is setting him up for failure. You're an idiot. <laughs> People deserve to die now. <sighs> Just because he wouldn't listen to a ghost. Where are you what? guys going? I thought that you would literally just. There's something cross wrong over. with this man. There's something wrong with this old man. But also, why did he just like believe him right away? Do you know? Like he's like, oh, there's another way. Yeah, what's the other way? Tell me. And what is this way? Like, what? You're just trying to get rid of the cat, and then like, there's no evidence, and he just disappears. What is this place? No. Oh, oh shit! Get oh, out! Oh, get out! Bring it back alive! I think that's where we're going. Who's burial ground? No. Make my Indians. No, not an old Indian burial ground. I brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. Why, for God's sake? I had my reasons. Soil's thin, but you'll manage. I'm gonna sit over yonder and have a smoke. I'd help you, but you gotta do it yourself. Each bury's his own. You're not telling him the full story. Yeah. He's going to be bringing back a, a zombie cat, and, and we don't want that near the child. I don't know. This guy wants something. <laughs> Dude, what Hello. is the story? Well, that took a while. Is it safe to go back? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Give me that one. Plastic is not biodegradable. Oh dear. What we did, Lois, was a secret thing. Women are supposed to be the ones who are good at keeping secrets. Any woman who knows that dog will tell you she's never seen into a man's heart. The soil of a man's heart, Lois, is stonier. Ah. Oh. The soil up there in the old my bearing ground. Oh, shit. Maybe he did it so that it takes it off him and puts it on... Or maybe he has, like, a, a benevolent spirit or presence who's trying to look out for him. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. How's everything in Chicago land? Grandma and Grandpa gave me all sorts of neat things. How's church, Daddy? Does he miss me? Yeah, he does. Okay. I guess he's just fine, Ellie. I haven't seen him this evening, but... Well... Make sure you put him down sub before you go to bed so he won't run out in the road. <laughs> and kiss him goodnight for me. Just try to help you because you helped him and then you just 
threw it all away. Yeah. Hope that ghost comes back to tell you how dumb you are. No, I hope that ghost has gone into the light. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> well, my cat's back. Church. Church. You need a bath. Church is very upset. Food, church. I don't think church wants normal food. Oh. Food. You just look a little bit meaner, but like kind of the same. Come on, church. Are you no, the other one was more squishy. This yeah. one's more mangy. I don't. Yes. Oh, you stay, church. Oh. God, he chewed his way out. Yeah, you put him in a plastic bag, silly. Jesus, boy, Christ. Yeah! Oh, that's pretty deep. That mean cat now. You want that cat sleeping with your daughter? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell myself that I buried him alive. But his head swiveled on his neck like it was full of ball bearings. Mm. When you moved him, he pulled out of Frost Lewis. It sounded like a piece of ticky tape coming off a letter. You know something. You only stop melting the frost on the way you're laying when you're dead. Well, I feel like I'm going crazy. Tell him. It was the ragman told me about the place. He was half Micmac himself. He knew how I felt about my dog, Spot. Spot had got caught in Bob wire and infected. Oh. When he died, I thought I was going to die. Ragman did for me what I did for you last night. Only I wasn't alone. Spot came back. My mother was with me. Well, what happened to his mother? Oh, you still see the Bob wire marks on him. Spot came back all right. Spot! It was never quite the same dog that I knew. When he died peacefully in the night that second time, I buried him up there in the pet cemetery. Where, as you saw, his bones still lie. Your daughter ain't ready for her favorite pet to die. No. Every oh. more time, she'll learn what death really is. No. Which is where the There's pain more. stops and the good memories begin. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? <gasps> Christ That's a good question, throw, no. but... Whoever would? I don't know, you got pretty nervous. No, you're not going to bury the freaking... guy. No, no, no. Uh, baths are scary in movies. I know. That water looks dirty. Mm. God, he's gonna pop up again, isn't he? I'm scared. Come on, man, just have a bath in peace. I don't like this. Threat. Oh, no! It's freaking church. How the hell did you get in here? Oh, God, no! Ouch! Ew. Uh he should be nice to church. Let her remember him as a s sweet, Daddy. loving, uh, nice yeah. guy. Not this Come. demonic. Daddy, is church all right? Yes. I guess so. He was asleep on the porch when I left. Because I had a dream about him. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. Oh. Is he really all right? Yes. Interesting. Oh no, is that the the lady with the stomach ache? Oh, this is her house. He offered to help you. Yeah. Rachel not feeling well? Well, just a touch of the flu. She's in bed. She's been throwing up ever since Mrs. Rogers called and said Mrs. Daniels. That's Dandridge. enough, Helen. Hmm. <laughs> Sickness passes on. How's your cat, Lois? Jelly's cat. No. Oh. Is your cat? Your cat now. Yeah. What? Because he buried it. You're the owner. You have to take responsibility, I think. Don't know why. Dang. Do you not see that your cat has glowy eyes? Is missing in heaven, do you think? Some believe in heaven or hell. Some think we come back as little children. Do you believe that? <laughs> Do you? Because church is listening. I think we go on. I have faith in that. You believe in it. Give me a kiss. 
Get an answer. Is she going? Is she really sick? Or maybe she's just like really upset because of how she died. Oh, my sister Zelda. I know she died. Spinal meningitis. She was in the back bedroom like a dirty secret. My sister died in in the back bedroom. Oh my gosh. I had to feed her sometimes. I hated it. We wished for her to be dead. Oh my god. It wasn't just so she wouldn't feel any more pain. It was so we wouldn't feel any more pain. It was because she started to look like this monster. No, you're evil, dude. She started to convulse, and I thought, I thought, oh my god, she's choking. Her neck's turning. And they'll come home, and they'll say, I murdered her by choking. They'll say, you hated her, Rachel, and that was true. Did she kill her? I ran out of the house screaming, Zelda's dead! And they looked. That's traumatizing. And they thought I was crying. <laughs> but you know something? <laughs> I think maybe I was laughing. Crying and laughing. Sometimes you cry <sighs> at like inappropriate moments. I get it. Nah, she's evil. If I ever needed another reason not to like your mother and father, I have one now. You should mm. have never been left alone with her, Rachel. Yeah, she was a kid. Where are you going? I'm going to get you a Valium. But you know I don't take. <laughs> Tonight you do. Tonight Doc is prescribing you a Valium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Church gonna die again? No, no, kiddo. Got away from him, that numb shit! What? Who taught you that? I got bit. You got bit? <laughs> I what did you? Can oh, I okay. Cry now? Uh, no, okay, don't. Just a minute. Dude, you guys, guys oh my he's God. a little baby, so don't turn your head. We're gonna no. do Dude. <gasps> no, we're, oh no. I can't watch her. Oh no. Oh, no. I yeah, you suspect it since the beginning. Wow. Ah, oh, shit. I told her when you were first married, you'll have all the grief you can stand and more, I said. Wow. I hope you rot in hell! What? Where were you when he was playing in the road? Oh, you stinking shit! You killer of children! I mean, grief does crazy yeah. things to people. Yeah. I understand that. Oh, my God. It's your son's funeral. Get hold of yourself, please. He started it. Yeah. I'm thinking about going to bed. For all I know, I may even be responsible for the death of your son. Why are you saying that? Oh, it comes as a cost? You didn't tell him? Hold on. A life for a life? Hold on. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, I think so. You asked me. Anyone ever buried a person up there in the you did. grounds? You did, didn't you? I lied to you when I said no. It's been done. What you've been thinking of has been done. He was a local boy. It's towards the end of the Second World War. His name was Timmy Baderman. He was killed on his way home in the Second World War. His father, Bill Baderman, was grief struck. He buried his son up there before he ever had a chance to get the bottom of the truth. <laughs> Oh, wait, Chad. Mm-hmm. What's the bottom of the truth? Oh. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. It may look like that person, but uh. whatever lives in the ground beyond the pet cemetery ain't human at all. Oh, God. Four or five days after Timmy's funeral, Margie Washburn seen Timmy walking up the road towards Yorkie's livery. So I went by. Lots of folks saw Timmy walking back and forth. But it was Margie who finally came to some of us men folks and said it had to be stopped. She knew it was an abomination. Oh, uh, yeah. So us men sat down and talked it out. Then we got to my car and went over the Baderman place to take care of it. One way or the other. Yeah, there's no other way. He's got a bird. Oh. Mm. The place is going up. 
Go away! Oh, God. You know what you still can, Bill? He's a monster, Bill! Grab Bill out of there. Uh, Sometimes dad is better. The Indians knew that. They stopped using that burial ground. The ground went sour. Oh. The place gets holier. But the place is evil. Then why did you let him bring back the cat? Telling me that place New Gage was going to die. I'm saying that the place might have made Gage die because I introduced you to the power. Oh. I may have murdered your son, Lewis. Gosh. This could be the beginning of patching things up with your folks. If something good doesn't come from Gage's death, I think. I don't want to go to Chicago, Grandma Dory. I had a bad dream last night. About what? The plane's going down. About Daddy. Oh. And Gage. And someone named Pax Cat. You guys better get going. Oh. You're going to miss the boat. That's the guy that died, right? Tell him. I am sorry. Tell your dad. What can I say? I lost my mind. We all lost our minds, Erwin. Tell him. Take care of your mother, darling. Come with us, Daddy. Please come with us. I'll be there in three days. Four at the most. Please, Daddy, I'm scared. Tell him why. Come on, Ellie. Let's go. All passengers now. What's gonna happen? Oh. No, you're not. You're not. Yep, we're doing it. We knew this was coming. What happened to you is wrong. The barrier was not meant to be crossed. Mm. The ground is sour. Yeah. If it comes back, and he's like Judd said, Timmy Benjamin was. What, you're gonna kill your son? You I'll just put him back to sleep. You can't do that. You yeah. won't be able to. It's not as easy as that. Yeah. You just had a bad dream, that's all. You know that, don't you? It wasn't a dream. It was Pax Cow. Huh. Who is this Pax Cow? Is he, is he like the boogeyman? He's a ghost. He's a good ghost. He says he was near Daddy because they were together when his soul was... This... I can't remember. Oh. Call your dad. Tell him. Yeah, you're getting messages from the beyond. Tell me what you know, child. Yeah. My kid, you know, I'm going to be the parent that's like, they're like, oh, I heard something. I'm like, ah, oh, it's nothing there. Come over here. And then I'll be like, what did you hear? <laughs> like, and I'm like terrified too, but I got to like play. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Bro. Pascal. He's right there. He was trying to help me because daddy was helping him when his soul dis, dis, corporate. Oh, that's a big word. Just oh, I like that he's using them. Yeah. Okay, you're a good guy. Did you help? I'll yeah. bust you out, son. Ah, he's not home to pick up the call. And we ain't getting no cell phones! It's Rachel Creed. I'm oh, calling God, from I Chicago. I don't have a good feeling about Judd. I'll tell him to call you. Don't bother, Judd. I'm coming home. Rachel, no. You don't want to do that. I have to do it, Judd. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Rachel! Oh, Judd. Rachel! What have you done? I'm scared for him. I'm afraid Judd's gonna die. Yep, he is. He's just gonna let him? Okay. Budweiser. You, you stupid old man. Proud sponsor. Now you got to undo it. That'd be so hard. Ugh. Yeah, they can't oh, shoot sorry. him because it would be too distressing. Oh, okay. Oh. Thought he would have been squished. Me too. Hey! Oh my god. Did you see the pictures? Yeah. Oh, what is happening? Oh. 
Mama. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, no. I'm coming for you, Rachel. Why? What'd she do? And I will get you for letting us die. Uh. Oh. <laughs> He's just happy she's, uh... Yeah, he's like, I just want to help. I don't know, I'm chilling. This is great. Yeah. Should have been wearing something more, uh, running appropriate. Oh, it was back in the day when you actually dressed up to go on a flight. Don't do that, babe. Don't do that, babe. See him. Set fire to his own house. Mm -hmm. Ah, bro, you missed him. Oh, what is that? Who's that? It's Sour Grounds. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh geez. Hold on. This car was... Definitely just a bad car. Now what? It's trying to stop you. Oh. Do you hear me? It's trying to stop you. Maybe it's because it needs another body. Yeah. Come alive. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Is it safe? I guess it's okay. It's the 80s. I don't know. Thank you. Dog. Hold babe. Yeah, no about that. I can't watch this. Wake up, Dad. At least it's a little. Well, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. It's like it's little breathing noises. Oh my God. Yep. Bruh. No. No. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> oh, he's in the slippers. Wrong shoes. Hey, hey, hi, then go see. No, that's okay. You can play by yourself. I am not involved in this. Please don't make this too easy for this kid. Where the frick is he? He's gonna come. Yeah, I don't like uh -huh. it. Gage! Okay, he's got a knife. Come on out! Oh, that little thing? I brought you something. That thing? Okay. Oh, God, there's too he many places. He knows his gauge. To... There's too many places to hide. He's going to stab you, like, somewhere in the eye. Oh, freaking hell, he's coming out. Ah! Where did you come from? Oh, God, how sharp is that scalpel? Very sharp. This one, they use it for surgeries. Kick him. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, this is kind of funny. That was dumb. <laughs> Chad? Are you up there? Get out. Get your husband first. I would not have stopped there. I would have gotten my husband. Rachel? Yeah. Is that you? <sighs> I'm going to twist your back like mine, so you'll never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again! I mean, they had to bring her back because it's pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, no. I bought you something, Mommy. What is that? I bought you something, Mommy. <sighs> Does he move fast? Okay. Oh, no, get it out of his hand. I brought you something, mommy. Ah! Ah! Ow. Oh. Jeez. Oh, mommy's gone too. Stuck. But also, you'll probably get accused of murder because that's your scalpel. Hello, Lois. It's Irwin. I uh, just wanted to be sure Rachel got back all right. Oh, shit. 
Rachel's asleep. I suggest you wake her up. Ellie had a dream that her mother was dead. Er, and I can't okay. talk to you. Okay, she's yeah. dead. She's dead. Uh, what are you gonna find? She literally hugged that demon child. I don't even think she got a chance. Oh, and I told you I can't talk to you right now. Oh, yes, Daddy. Will you come over and play with me? Oh, Jesus. First I played with Dad, then Mommy came, and I played with Mommy. We played, Daddy. We had an awful good time. Now I want to play with you. You. What did you do? What did you do? Oh. oh. That's the doctor. You can... Really? You... Yeah, I don't think that shit's gonna work on your babies. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if that's gonna work. That's an undead cat, no, my friend. but that, that thing kills it. I mean, they could die more than once, remember? Oh, that's right, yeah. You know, put it in the booty? Bro. <laughs> okay, it's on the side. Aw. The cat wasn't really doing anything that bad, was he? Oh my god! What is that green stuff? It's like the, the, the soil, the earth. Oh, uh, I like the new decorating. Oh no. Rachel! You gotta go in. You have to at least see if she's dead. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, it's just in your head. I scared you, didn't I? Huh. Gage? Oh. Oh, God. Kick him. Ha! 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 I gotta play with you. Let's get another shot. <laughs> At least this doctor's humane about the way he wants to do it. I know, we're all like, step on his head! <laughs> Kick him! Beat him on the back! Kick him! <laughs> and he's like, nah. Now I'm just <laughs> gonna just drug him to death. Doing this the easy way. Ay, ay, ay. Look behind the doors. I played hide and seek. Oh, dude, I wouldn't be doing that. So I'd be like, bah! Ha! <laughs> like, With like a long stick, just so, you know, keep your distance. Yeah. Then go. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the bloody oh, ass. No. Okay, gotta. Yeah, okay, daddy. Mommy had issues, so, you know. But where, where did he take their bodies? Under you the went bed? And buried them. Oh god. Grab a broomstick. Let's do this the Kristen way. Both bodies, that's where you hit him. Yay! <laughs> now we gotta find mommy. Yeah. That one's really gonna hurt. Yeah. Doc. We should try to save you. So technically, I don't know if that ghost really helped or not. I think that ghost kind of set her up. Wow. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh my lord! Ah! Get off! Get off! Him no. can go! Really? You're gonna let that little thing like grab it, shake it, hit its head? Oh! Oh, he hit you! Oh gosh! What happens? Is he that strong? Supernaturally strong. Oh, you got extra. Oh, you're just dropping them at Okay, this Bro, is, you need to keep He's gonna he's you gonna poke it in you. You need to throw him in the road. Pick that, that's what you should grab. Oh, is he gonna sacrifice his life? No, he has a daughter, he has a well maybe. explain all this oh hit him again hit him again yeah get another dose is that it is he gonna come back how do you explain this oh, just, oh he's gonna yeah burn, burn that shit down Maybe not. what are you gonna do throw her in there dude <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like throw her in there. What are you doing? I don't know. Maybe he could. 
Would she fit inside their son's burials? But don't make it worse. Don't. I waited too long with Gage. No, did you not learn? She just died a little while ago. Wow. What? Don't. What wow. an idiot. Did you not just... Someone needs to stop this man. What'd they say about man's heart? They said it's a... Uh... Oh, the... the... soil of his heart is stony. The soil of a man's heart is stony. There we go. Man grows what he can, and he tends it. Because what you buy is what you own. And what you own always comes home to you. Oh, he's gonna light it up in fire? Honey, I'm home! You're an idiot, dude. Yeah. Where do we... Or maybe you just want to see a little bit Oh. Oh, oh uh. God. Oh, you're mentally sick. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh my god. The house is gonna blow up. No. Idiot, man. It just ended like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, he deserved it. He deserved that. That was the dumbest he ending I've ever seen. <laughs> what an idiot, dude. I thought you were smarter than that, Doc. No. No. You had all the warnings, all the signs. Fool. What a dummy. <laughs> I, the the journey is you're supposed to learn to let go. You're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, learned, maybe death is no, better. Uh, we learn nothing in this film. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> there was no point or more. <laughs> like, nah, keep doing it. Patterns are good. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like, let's let's keep being toxic. Let's, and like, oh, man. He was so frustrating. Like, okay, you lost your son. So the lesson that you learned from him coming back to life and him being this evil demon child is, I need to do that again. Dumb, 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 dumb. A man's heart isn't full of stony soil. It's stupidity. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, wow. Dumbest. You know, dumbest. I've never seen a film where it's like, yo, I showed you the consequences. I made it even worse for you. And, you know, like I'm like, it's plain written in black and white permanent marker. You can't erase it. It is what it is. Boom. It's in your head. And you're like, huh, yeah, let's do it again. I know I just destroyed the other one, but huh. I mean, I guess you could argue that he's a man who's been driven to madness by his grief. And so he's not making the best <sighs> choices. You're so sweet. I'm trying here. I'm you know, really I, trying. I agree with that. But still, like, it's like a man's heart is as... Some, there's something, something about the soil. About the soil is the soil of a man's heart is, that is stony. Stony. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> what does just, that mean? I'm trying to. I'm trying to break it out. The man. The, okay, it's about secrets. Yeah. About it's stony like stony heart. Because you're Judd, what you have a heart like your brain is a rock. <laughs> no, I think Judd, Judd was kind of saying like usually it's women who can keep secrets, who keep secrets or, or that's the stereotype but he's like no sometimes a man has to keep a secret what was the point of their house cleaning lady dying no clue maybe just to show that for for ellie to kind of deal with death oh, because i think we needed something yeah i think that or also to foreshadow the the mom Right, like, and how she died. Maybe how she the feels about death. You know, it's interesting because the mom, honestly, personally, I think the mom is kind of a crappy person. And I say that because of what she said about her sister and how she's like, yeah, I want her to die, blah, blah, blah. I get it. There's times where we have people in our lives that are, it's hard to take care of them. You know, I get that. You kind of hope and wish for them to pass because you're like, oh, yeah. my life will be so much easier without you or whatever. But at the same time, those people, I don't want those people in my life, man. Like I was brought up very old school, like in the Asian culture where you take care of those who took care of you yeah. at a young age and you continue to do that and you do everything in your power so that they can live the best life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't just go, ugh, 
Where I feel like in the Western culture, I'm saying it. You guys, I'm saying it. Most heartless people. Okay, when it comes to stuff like that, they're so damn heartless yeah. because they don't have the same values. It's more of, oh, me, myself, and I, and they're very yeah. selfish. Yeah. Because I know so many people here in America who, like, you know, they send their family off to, like, elderly homes, never visit them, never do this. And I'm like, I don't get that mentality. Yeah. Especially because, like, with my grandfather and stuff, right? Like, I clean him. I wash and bathe him. I give shots. I I change the catheters. I clean from head to toe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've given up a lot of, for a few years, I gave up doing everything I love just to take care of him. Yeah. You know, and I would do it. And I did it for my grandmother until she passed. And honestly, it's one of the most rewarding things somebody can possibly do. Yeah, sometimes they look rough. Yes, sometimes they smell that. Yes, it is hard. But I do believe you grow as an individual. You're either going to do two two things. You're going to be resentful or you're going to grow and become a better person. Right. You know what I mean? But it depends on where your heart's at and how self-absorbed and selfish you are. That's just my opinion. Right. Um, but I think but, I, I think what the, the character was showing, at least for me, I was like, she's kind of... Mental? No, she was... She was showing that darkness, I think, that sometimes we have in our hearts. I'm sure maybe at one point or another, someone has thought something and maybe thought like, oh, it would be so much easier if they were dead. And then immediately been like, oh, that's a terrible thought. That's a terrible thing to think, you yeah. know? And so I feel like in a way that's very real. To, and, and yes. So, but... But I get maybe. I get what you're saying and but I also think that for her I don't blame her so much because she was an 8-year-old child and there was a lot put on her and it was really scary and so when I put myself in her shoes I'm kind of like she was being influenced by parents who truly mistreated and and abused their elder daughter like why would you hide her away in a room yeah. and and treat her like that and and just you know not be there for her i blame the parents more than her and uh, and I, that's like a really traumatic thing for an 8 year old to witness their sick older sister die and of course the natural thought is i did that like yeah. my thoughts did that or I accidentally killed her or you know it's but my fault But then it's interesting too because she also said she wasn't crying she was laughing. You know what I mean? Like it, there was like some type of joy but at the, you know in in some shape or form but then like you also said like sometimes you know our emotions kind of Well yeah cuz like the physiologically laughter and crying are actually quite closely linked. That's why yeah. sometimes you can cry laughing and sometimes like when when you're in a situation that maybe is really scary and and you feel like you might want to cry you end up laughing instead like it's actually uh, quite closely linked i mean i've had times where like if like when i'm really mad sometimes i start laughing yeah because i'm like but that's because i self-consciously know my psycho is coming up okay I'm <laughs> it's like, a warning i'm self-aware enough to know like you better run, ha ha ha, like am I, I'm a psycho and you're about to die. But then also there's times where it's like, I'm terrified and I'm like, ha, 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 ha. But that's like almost my way of going, it's okay. But I've never had that feeling of when I am completely devastated or sad. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm either, I be either like have zero emotions and I just get numb yeah. and super quiet or I cry. I get it. I, I understand yeah. that, but I still, I, feel, I don't know. I feel hard pressed to say that an eight year old in her situation mm -hmm. was evil. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like there were a lot of circumstances that kind of, I don't think she's led evil, her to feel the way that she did. I do think that because like she, she had a little bit of um, some mental issues. Um, <laughs> quite possible. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure how I felt about her um, in general. But then it's interesting because they also brought her dad into play, you know, and he's just he was devastated. Awful. I mean, he was devastated at the fact that like their son died, you know, and he already doesn't like the doctor for some reason. I don't know if it's because he's a doctor or, you he know. He just doesn't like him. I it's like the classic in-law yeah. thing where it's like, I don't understand. But why I felt like that was very you. real because sometimes in our most trying times, we need somebody to blame. Yes. And we need something. And we're so angry. That, that to me that was a very um real scene. Yeah. And sometimes like I you know, I've seen it many, many times and like I've felt that way on the inside about certain things, mm -hmm. you know, before. 
as well. But it's interesting too because he apologizes and I wish I ha we had more of the mother and father because I feel like they didn't give us enough for us to like not like them. But also then you have the little girl who's now in their care who didn't do a great job with the mother. You know, and we just eliminated the father and the mother. So I don't know. I personally feel like the story is kind of like a little all over the place. It wasn't what I expected. I think going no. into it, I thought with a title like Pet Cemetery, it was going to be like, Completely oh, different. yeah, I thought they, they would bring back the cat and then mm -hmm. all of the animals would come back mm -hmm. somehow or like then they would attack the family and they would have to kill the the pets or something like that. That's the movie I thought we were going to get. And the movie we got was totally out of... Uh, it was much deeper than that, actually. I, because it was like, okay, it started with the pet and then it turns into this story about death and grieving and horror. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I like how they foreshadowed a lot of things. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, I thought that they were going to do something and like maybe possess the daughter through the pet cemetery or. Right. And she was going to end up kind of like attacking people and maybe killing people off. Yeah. Or whatever. And there's this deep, dark, scary story about the house and the land. Yeah. And then I was totally not expecting the Indian grounds. First off, I was like, where are you going? It looks like you're going to the desert or you're going completely out of state. Like, <laughs> where is this man traveling to? I know. Um, because I feel like that pathway, I'm like, that pathway doesn't end up there. It doesn't even match the rest of the scenery. But, <laughs> but, you know, I gave it to him. I actually did like Pascal. I actually liked his character. Yeah, he was cool. He was actually, um, he was scary. Yeah, creepy in the beginning in the beginning but then as you went I felt like he kind of started adding comical relief yes. and then you couldn't help but like go I really like this guy thank you for like you know giving us a chill pill uh, yeah <laughs> you we, know we needed him but then when he said he doesn't want you he's trying to like send you off the path or whatever I was hoping we were going to get a deeper story because he's like and it's like who's he who's he who's they you know and it's clearly it's that that Whatever, whatever is the living presence. there, the presence yeah. that's there. But I wish there was like something more that would like leave me. I know this is really messed up what I'm about to say because Lord, I don't mean it. <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't need this in my life, but I'm going to say it. Like something that's going to haunt me after the film where I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> right, right. Like I almost wanted that. Like I wanted, I don't, I don't want it, Lord. I don't, I really don't. <laughs> uh, but I felt like I needed it. Now they what they did really they they what they did really literally she would ah you went on wow yeah uh, <laughs> what they did really I got possessed man yeah I, I'm talking and I'm like I said I'm good I think what they did really well was they set up the scares so well and I feel like they don't do them that well today like you know like those pop ups like knowing that they're coming oh the jump scares yeah the jump scares the and stuff best like that. jump scare though was in the beginning when yes. I don't think it I don't even know if it was supposed to be a bad jump scare but the one that got us the most was just when the cat popped up and it wasn't uh, even dead yet I know <laughs> but that's what I'm saying I feel like like they set it up so good like yeah. so well and I really liked I like that like I liked how they did the the music with things, but also, yeah. it also kind of made you question like, is it gonna pop? Nah, Be you know, nah. But yeah, exactly. The sound, the music and stuff was really good because it like really amps you up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then you're like, oh no, here yeah. comes the release. Like I need that moment of jump scare and catharsis yeah. because the music and everything, the suspense, the way the camera's moving throughout the house or throughout the graveyard and stuff, it's just like really freaking me out right now. Yeah. And, so. I, and I felt like uh, Judd. Yeah. I felt like I wanted more from his character too because it kind of, I felt like, you know, he was like holding out so much and then I, I, I thought he was going to be the villain personally, originally. I it thought. seemed that way in the beginning. Yeah, but, and then he was like so nice and caring. But I wanted more of a background story with that guy. Yeah. You know, I felt like that, I felt like that also would have made it better to where he's been there for so long. Like, there's no way that that was all there was to the story. You well, know, I wanted more. I feel like probably uh, if anyone has read the books, they can probably tell us or, or the book, sorry. Mm. But there probably is more of a backstory. I bet in the, the book. books probably fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like way better than the film. They probably because of where when it was made, they probably didn't have the time 
to fit everything that's into it. So that's why yeah. I'm, like, I'm interested in watching the newest one because now that we're making longer films, sure, there yeah. might be more of the story to it yeah. that, we're, that we've missed. There but, was definitely stuff there that they could have gone deeper into. Yeah. I personally think this could be remade. It could be even scarier. I, could I even, think it could be a lot scarier. Or it could be like a TV show or something like oh, that. That scared me. Anyway. <laughs> this was, I'm like, I feel like any crap. I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> this was scary. It was good. The only one thing that made me laugh because it was a little bit funny was when they had the kid. Because um, clearly, like, you know, you can only do so much with the little kid. And, yeah. and he did a really good job when he was undead. But the, the moment when he was in the attic and it clearly was like a doll or something like that. And I didn't then, like that. And then when he's like eating his dad, that was kind of funny. Because like, yeah. he, he's only, he can only be so scary. He's a little kid. That is true. That, you know what that, I mean? That part, that part, I didn't like him in the attic, like coming from the top. Yeah, that but, looked weird. But at the same time, I was like, okay, now it's kind of dumb. I'm not, I like <laughs> everything. I was like hyping my head up. Nah, it's not so bad. I think he still should have donkey kicked the kid. I'd be like, huzzah! Maybe they just couldn't show that. I feel like maybe audiences in 1989 were, were just not ready. First of all, not ready to see a child get kicked. Like, properly get flattened, flattened by the truck. We didn't need to see that. I'm glad they didn't show that. But I think maybe also audiences were not ready to see a grown man donkey kick a child in the face. Yeah, it's coming and killing everybody. Like, I think it's an appropriate move. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> donkey kick the child. Um, but yeah, anyway, those are our thoughts, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Hope we didn't scare you too much with being scared. I know that happens sometimes. And uh, <laughs> I hope you had a good laugh and enjoyed the the scares at our expense. We'll see you next time. I'm Achara Cook. This is... Kristen Savaspino. Ciao.